28, the whole KR, only six. It was a spirited effort, the first half, only 6-0 at halftime to St. Tellings. Hull KR coming off the back, of course, of that Wembley defeat, the heartbreak of losing the Challenge Cup to the Lee Leopards. Like I say, spirited first half indeed. However, it got worse, of course, the second half. The champions ran out easy winners, 28 points to six. And Willie Peters and KR now have had two big losses Back-to-back -back Wigan, of course, and now Saints. An 80-point swing in the points difference has given the advantage now to the Warrington Wolves and to Salford Red Devils in that respect. Salford now 20 points to the better. Warrington, before their game against Leeds, 46 points to the better. That could be pivotal come the end of the season. Of course, they played the gamble against Wigan. It didn't play off. And in this one, they come up against the champion team, who, quite frankly, despite their injury concerns this season, are not going to relinquish the grand final and the Super League trophy without a fight. It it was a solid second half performance yet again Tommy Makinson what a player this boy is 16 tries now for the season for Big Tommy had a fine game indeed Moses and by as well getting his first try for St. Helens really pleased to see Delaney this young kid Delaney he really had some solid carries in this game really punchy down the middle he's not doing big meters at the moment but he's putting his hand up time and time again for the ball doing really well. I thought uh, Sione Matausia had another great game in this one. A try for him, but 153 metres from 16 carries. Matausia is somebody who's really stepping up uh, to try and fill uh, the void that's been left by the likes of Parsi and Warms. Did he play Knowles at prop forward in this one? It didn't really work for me. Only 42 metres from eight carries for, for Morgan Knowles. That's not good enough. Compare that to, to James Bell, who, of course, deputised at loose forward. Another great game from James Bell. 126 metres from 26 carries. Solid player, James Bell. He's had a great 2023. Uh, very impressed with James Bell. The Percival Makerson combination looking as deadly as ever on the right edge, of course. It could have been a lot worse that first half. A couple of tries were chalked off a, a forward pass to Benison without question. Roby, I mean, not often you see James Roby getting short of the line. I mean, it should have been a four points, well, six points, he's right with the sticks, but Roby grounded the ball before the line and then was rolled over, held up in touch. You don't see that very often, do you, from James Roby, but good defence. And I have to say, in the you know, on the topic of defence and errors, yes, Mikey Lewis got his try, but Mikey Lewis is not a fullback. I appreciate what the, you know, he needs to be on the on the on the field. The guy is box office, especially in attack. But I'm sorry, I'm not convinced that Mikey Lewis is a fullback. Five errors in this game. Uh for me, he's just not that type of player. He needs to be playing in the halves. I think Ethan Ryan is a far better option at fullback for the Robins uh, in the running, I have to say. Not convinced at all. Like Mikey Lewis, you know, I think this kid is a quality, quality player, but he's not a fullback. And since Schneider's come in, they have, of course, relegated him back to... I don't want to say relegated because I think his natural position is standoff, but they want to try and get Rowan Mills in there for his kicking, of course. But, you know, if you're, if you're losing 28 points to six, you're not going to be kicking many goals. You need box office. You need quality in that centre field. Like I say, I'd have put Ethan Ryan at fullback and allow Mikey Lewis to do what he can do in and around the halves. I mean, you know, really disappointing performance this. You know, none of the real key players, like the Lit and Parcel, Lewis, not really on fire. There was a definite angle from the Challenge Cup. We see it time and time again, whether you win it or whether you lose it. Very difficult to back up from Wembley. From a St. Ellie's perspective, they're going about the business brilliantly well. That's four wins now on the spin for the champions, just going about the business really well. Now up to third, of course, in Super League, uh, behind Wigan. I mean, Catalan, you'd expect Catalan, of course, now to hold on for the league leader's shield, but St. Helens are going to be there, thereabouts. They'll be fighting every step of the way with Wigan, uh, more than likely Wigan as opposed to Lee, I would say, but certainly Wigan for that home draw in the semi final. It couldn't be closer, really, could it? I mean, both teams on 30 points. Uh, at the moment, Wigan do enjoy a 54 point points difference to Saints, courtesy of that game against Hull KR. But again, that's not insurmountable in terms of turning that over. Lee now a far weaker position in terms of points difference. And of course, now two points behind. So Lee Leopard's probably now going to finish in and around fourth position. I, I don't expect Lee dropping out of the top six, but I think in terms of that home draw now, I would expect Catalan Dragons to win the Super, to, to win the, the League Leader's Shield. And it's a right uh, tussle now between Wigan and St. Helens for the second place and a home semi-final. So where do these two teams go next? Well, for St. Helens, they go up against Casper Tigers at the jungle. They You can't see them coming unstuck there unless they go there. Um, 
you know, without the right mindset, which you just don't really see. Yes, OK, Castleford won this week, but it was against a very poor Wakefield team. Both of those two teams, I think, really poor this season. Uh, I'd expect Saints to win that one. Uh, as for Hull KR, they need to get back on the on the horse and quickly, and they go back up against the team that beat them at Wembley. Yeah, Lee Leopards, uh, they play them at home next weekend. That's a big game, you know, Lee against Hull KR. They'll want revenge. Uh, and we see that often, don't we, in sport, that, you know, a team who lose a, lose a major final, the next time they play that team, they, they they turn them over. So, you know, be interesting to see, can Lee now get themselves up again, uh, having had the, that defeat against the league leaders uh, on Saturday? And, you know, what about Hull KR? So really interesting games coming up, I think, for both sides. I'd expect Saints to go and beat Castleford. But in terms of KR Lee, that is a fascinating game game that's going to be taking place in a week's time so congratulations to St. Tellings Tommy Tommy the man making soon again on the mark with two beautiful tries uh, courtesy of uh, well certainly one of them from uh, a very good Mr. Par uh, Percival and Saints will just continue to try and make sure that they get that home semi they're going to be in the playoffs we know that but I think in that real cauldron of you know playoff rugby league knockout rugby league that, I think, could be where it bites St. Helens. But at the moment, they're still in it. They're still in a, with a chance of five on the spin. You St. Helens fans, do you think you can do it? And what about Hull KR? Can you get into the six? Let us know. Get into the comments. What do you make of the game? Make sure you tell all your friends about us. Don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Thanks.